There's a kind of magic that spiritual people find in nature, a deep connection that can't always be put into words, but is felt deeply, like a pulse shared between the soul and the earth. It's more than just standing on a beach, watching the waves roll in. It's feeling the ocean's rhythm sink with your breath, as if the water carries messages from somewhere ancient, somewhere sacred. The ocean becomes more than just a body of water. It's a reflection of the soul's depth, reminding us that beneath the surface of everything, there's a hidden current, always moving, always alive. As the poet Rumi once said, you are not a drop in the ocean, you are the entire ocean in a drop. The world becomes a mirror in those moments. Birds with their freedom to soar through the sky speak to our own longing to rise above, to feel the wind under our wings, unburdened by the weight of daily life. Their songs aren't just sounds, they're invitations to remember that like them, we are free, that our spirits can fly as high as we allow them. Have you ever noticed the way birds follow the same patterns, season after season, always trusting the winds to guide them home? That trust, that surrender, is something spiritual souls cherish. The belief that no matter how far we roam, there's always a way back to our true selves. Animals in nature also have this way of teaching us without words, reminding us of instincts we may have forgotten. A deer's cautious grace, the way a fox moves through the forest, or the quiet stillness of a resting wolf, each moment whispers a lesson about patience, presence, and the beauty of simply being. To watch animals in their natural habitat is to see life in its purest form, where there's no rush, no anxiety about the past or future, just the present moment, alive and full of quiet wisdom. And then there's the sunrise and sunset, those fleeting moments that feel like the earth is breathing with us. Sunrise brings hope, a new beginning, as the golden light spreads across the sky, bathing the world in warmth. It's a reminder that no matter how dark the night was, the sun will rise again, bringing with it a fresh start. Sunsets, on the other hand, remind us of closure, of the beauty in endings. As the colors fade into twilight, there's a kind of peace in knowing that even in the day's fading light, there is grace. Every sunset brings the promise of a new dawn, a saying that rings true for anyone who feels the pull of nature's cycles. The sun itself, with its warmth and light, is a symbol of life's energy, endlessly giving, asking for nothing in return. It's as if every beam of sunlight carries a reminder that we, too, are meant to shine, to share our light with others. Meanwhile, the moon offers a softer kind of guidance. Its phases mirror the ebb and flow of our own lives, reminding us that growth comes in cycles and it's okay to go through periods of darkness before coming into full light again. The moon, with its gentle glow, tells us that there's beauty in every phase, even when we're not at our brightest. Looking up at the stars instantly makes you feel both small and connected to something far greater than yourself. For spiritual people, the stars are more than just distant points of light in the night sky. They're like beacons, quietly reminding us of our place in the universe. It's as if, in their silent, endless glow, they hold the answers to questions we've barely even begun to ask. When you stand beneath them, it's hard not to feel like you're part of an ancient story, one that stretches back through time and space, connecting every soul that's ever looked up and wondered. Carl Sagan once said, We are made of star stuff, and in those moments, staring at the sky, it feels true. There's a sense that the same energy that created the stars flows through us too. Among trees and plants, spiritual people find some of their greatest teachers. Trees with their roots deeply embedded in the earth teach us about grounding, about staying connected to something stable even when the winds of change blow through. There's a silent wisdom in their stillness, as if they know that all growth happens with time. 
plants, with their delicate leaves and flowers, remind us of the importance of patience and nurturing. They bloom not because they rush the process, but because they allow themselves to grow at their own pace in harmony with the earth. There's something about the wind that feels almost like a whisper, as if the earth itself is sharing secrets with those who are still enough to listen. It sweeps through the trees, over the hills, and across the oceans, carrying with it stories of far-off places and ancient wisdom. For spiritual people, the wind isn't just a force of nature, it's a reminder of the unseen energies that move through our lives. It's invisible, yet its presence is undeniable, like the way our thoughts and feelings shape us, even though they can't be touched. As Khalil Gibran said, The wind speaks not more sweetly to the giant oaks than to the least of all the blades of grass. It touches everything, without preference, and in that there's a profound lesson about the equality of all beings. Rain, too, carries its own magic. There's something deeply cleansing about standing in the rain, feeling the droplets soak into your skin. It washes away more than just dirt. It clears the mind, rinses off the heaviness of the day, and brings a kind of renewal that's hard to find elsewhere. For many spiritual people, rain symbolizes rebirth, a reminder that after every storm, there's a chance to begin again. It has a softness to it, but also a quiet strength. Just as water carves its way through stone over time, rain reminds us that persistence, even in the smallest ways, has the power to create real change. Every raindrop contributes to something greater, a gentle push toward growth and renewal. Then there's the storm, wild and untamed. When thunder rumbles through the sky and lightning splits the clouds, there's no mistaking the raw power of nature. It's both awe-inspiring and humbling, a reminder of how small we are in the grand scheme of things. And yet, at the same time, it awakens something primal inside of us. The storm doesn't ask for permission. It arrives in full force, shaking the earth and lighting up the sky. There's a beauty in its chaos, an energy that speaks to the parts of ourselves that are just as wild and unpredictable. The lightning, with its sharp brilliance, reminds us that illumination often comes in flashes, in sudden moments of clarity. It's said that storms help the earth release built-up energy, much like how we, too, need moments of release to free ourselves from the tension that builds up within. Thunder, with its deep, rolling presence, feels like the earth's own heartbeat, a sound that reverberates through the ground and through us. It shakes loose what's been held too tightly and asks us to let go of our need for control, to trust the forces that are far beyond our understanding. In those moments, there's a reminder that not everything needs to be calm to be meaningful. Sometimes, it's in the storm that we find our greatest transformations. As Maya Angelou once said, every storm runs out of rain, a truth that spiritual people hold close when life feels overwhelming. The storm doesn't last forever, but what it leaves behind is often a world refreshed, ready for something new. To walk through a forest, to stand by the ocean, or to sit under the stars, is to feel a kind of magic that can't be explained, only experienced. It's a connection that runs deeper than words, a reminder that we are part of something much larger, something timeless. Feeling the wind on your face, to stand in the rain, or to witness a storm's fury, is to remember that nature is not something separate from us. It's a reflection of the cycles we go through, both the gentle breezes and the raging tempests. Each element of nature speaks to a different part of the soul, offering lessons in patience, resilience, and surrender. There's a magic in it all, a deep sense of belonging, as if all these parts of nature are all reminding us that we too are part of this ever-changing, ever-beautiful dance of life. Nature is a constant teacher, and for those who are willing to listen, it offers wisdom that transcends the everyday. A whisper from the universe that we are not alone, 
that everything is connected and that there is always beauty to be found if we only take the time to see it. Thanks for watching another Feel Better Within video. Until next time, be kind to yourself and others while you keep exploring the powers of the universe.